Hi there, it's a new year. Molly Jane, Dal, we're gonna to talk to you about this week's new comics, which because it's a brand new year, everything's exciting and fresh, nothing came out. Um, one of those weeks that, uh, just kind of minor. Um, great way to start 2023, but we're excited about a lot of books. We're gonna tell you about them right now, starting with Molly Jane's first pick. I'm going to mention here, Spy Superb. This is the newest joint from Matt Kint. Uh, it is watercolored. Uh, watercolor out on the inside. It is about a, a spy organization that has a 007, which is kind of just a title, but they take random unwitting uh, Joe Schmoes and put them into the, uh, into the position. So no one has ever found out who the spy superb is, but now the unwitting spy superb has been killed and they need to find someone who's just perfect to pull off a very important pickup. It is super, super funny and uh, very goofy and cute. Yeah. <laughs> Big new Marvel release for the week, Scarlet Witch. Uh, it's written by Steve Orlando, art by Sarah Pichelli. Um The thing that's really great about this is that Sarah Pichelli, I think, has a new inker uh, and makes her stuff look amazing. Uh, this is the best Sarah Pichelli's art has looked in years. If you're someone who's maybe underwhelmed by some of the stuff like Fantastic Four, uh, this is definitely a, a huge improvement. The story itself is a solid introduction to the new status quo for Scarlet Witch, who's basically, after years and, I guess, decades in the Marvel Universe, of sort of being a villain and, and making terrible decisions and accidentally screwing up a lot of things, like depowering millions of mutants. Um, this is her trying to make things right. This is her uh, trying to help out the smaller people who are hurt by magic. Uh, it's a really solid done in one story. It's some beautiful artwork. Also, Darcy Lewis from the MCU makes her Marvel Comics debut. I didn't want to tell people that because uh, then they're going to want to do it as a speculator thing, and I'd rather them just enjoy the comic book. I just think it's fun that she's in it. Okay. Next, I'm going to mention uh, the newest issue of Batman. This is by Chip Zdarsky with art by Mike Hawthorne. Um, this is a new story arc starting up. Batman has been shunted over to another universe. Uh, by uh, Failsafe, that scary ass robot he was fighting in the last arc. And it's a really weird and creepy new universe. We see a new version of Harvey Dent and Catwoman. They're all real creepy. It looks like it's going to be a cool one. Ant Man Trade. Uh, this is a really excellent series by Al Ewing and uh, Tom Riley. Mm -hmm. And this collects the entire four issue series. Al Ewing is one of the few guys that can do real deep cut. Marvel history stuff and still make it accessible and fun. Uh, this is also setting up the Wasp miniseries that Al Ewing is going to be doing a little bit later in 2023, so definitely check this one out. It's so good. My last pick is a new omnibus edition of The Ballad of Halo Jones, uh, which is one of, like, probably my favorite Alan Moore work that has ever happened. Um, it's got art by Ian Gibson with new-ish colors by Barbara Nascenzo. Um, this is the whole story all together. He did this at 2000 AD before he went on to do some little known works for DC and all that stuff, but it is really, really good. It's his most um, feminist work, I would say. Um, excellent, excellent read. I'd say to check this out if you haven't already. And my final pick is <laughs> My Sister the Cat. Uh, this is adorable. It's absolutely adorable. Uh, it is a story about a young man who is adopted by a family of anthropomorphic cats, and his new adopted little sister is uh, obsessed with him. It's just adorable. It's a bunch of short stories. It's the cutest thing in the world. Uh, absolutely the most adorable book I can imagine for 2023. Yeah, yeah, it's super cute. Yeah. yeah. And that's everything. Uh, look, a huge roster of stuff. Obviously, you're going to have to take out a bank loan to pay for everything <laughs> that we just recommended and then everything else that's rolled out this week. But it'll be worth it. Thanks for watching. And keep reading comics. <laughs>